Okay, so I have seen the movie, and I'm going to try to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. But I will say this. I've had I have some concerns that, that some parts of the movie would not pan out as well as they did. Like um like in the trailers or um like with Peter's friends. I I was afraid I was not gonna connect with them like at all. I mean it didn't seem like it was likely, like the way, you know, the way that part of you know the movie was advertised. But I will say that um that I was so wrong. I was completely wrong. I mean that they actually helped make the movie they could do like they were definitely they were not weak links. They really helped the movie car carry on through you know Act Two to Act Three, and or you know like you get where I'm going with this. Um, but it, it, it's it's great and um, and Tom Holland you know as always. I mean I was confident that he was going to carry on this movie. I mean I was I was behind him 100% when they announced that he was going to be Spider Man. I knew he was gonna do it, and, or he was gonna, you know, do the character justice, and um, and I gotta say, um, you know, this is the first, probably the first lighthearted movie in the Mar Mar Marvel Cinematic Universe. I know there is a lot of, they, I mean, they have a lot of movies like that, um, but if you sit through this movie, it's gonna make a, a lot of other movies, um, a part of this. A, part of this lineup before a part of this universe look this movie's gonna make all of those movies look dark and gritty um because they're all basically adults you know and they're taking on you know like you know like bigger threats and whatnot and whatever and then this is just a kid so this is actually the first time that they have a kid in in this universe that you know that's gonna be a potential member of the avengers and and this is the first time that they've actually had a character who keeps his identity secret from, you know, from everybody. And it stays that way. Um, you know, like, well, in the trailers, you see that um, Peter's best friend, Ned, finds out that he's Spider-Man. I mean, they have that in all the trailers. But, um, but just as a whole, like, where every other Avenger is known, like, where their identity is known to everybody. But here... I mean, you know, you know, Peter's not a, an, an Avenger yet, but his identity is kept secret. So that's probably the only character in the, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we know so far in these movies that he keeps his identity secret from everybody. And um, I mean, Iron Man did that through, you know, like his first movie until he came out and said he was Iron Man at the very end. But um, so, yeah, this is the first time that we've had to hear with a secret secret identity yes secret identity in years and um and i gotta say the and you know with aunt may i felt you know i felt that her connection with peter i you know like they have a they have a good bond you know like you know they have a good aunt and nephew bond and i have no problem with her being younger in this movie i mean marissa tomei did a good job but I would not add sex appeal to this character. I mean, I just feel like it's it's just a tasteless thing to do. I mean, like that's one of my nitpicks with the movie. I would not add that, you know, to her character whatsoever, even though she is a good looking woman. I mean, they had a lot of I mean this wouldn't be the first time they've had a beautiful woman fill in Aunt May's shoes. You know, regardless of how young or old she was. But still, I mean I feel like that is a little, little too much to sex appeal. And um, in the vulture, I mean, he, I didn't expect him to scare me as much as he did, but I mean, he's played by Michael Keaton for crying out loud. But when you see this movie, you understand why he's, why he is, has, why he has gone over the edge. Like it's not, and it's not as simple as. Oh, I'm the bad guy just because you know just because I enjoy being I enjoy being the bad guy <laughs> like it's not not that black and white at all and um and um Iron Man Tony Stark 
he does not overshadow the movie at all. He does not outshine Peter at all. Like, none whatsoever. You know, he does not do that. And he shows up every, you know, just at the right moment where it's like, okay, he isn't, he's in the movie too much. And no, that's how it looks in the trailers, but not in the movie. I'm telling you, that does not happen in the movie at all. I mean, you do see him for a good while. Excuse my printer. <laughs> but, no, I mean, they, you know, his his scenes are spaced out in, in, in the movie. And also, um, and, and yeah, I mean, like, I was a, and, and I will say this, though. I'll say this, that Uncle Ben is not mentioned or he's not even seen in this movie at all. Um, I understand why they did it, but I would have done things a little differently where there's at least a brief flashback of him or at least, or they at least say his name like at least once because it he felt almost obsolete in this movie and I feel like He's a big part of Spider-Man's world, of Spider-Man's story. I'm not saying we should relive his death over again, you know, like where we, where we see him for a good chunk of the movie and then he gets shot, you know, in cold blood. Uh, I'm not saying we need to see that all over again, but I mean we could see brief flashbacks. You know how they've done brief flashbacks in other Marvel movies, like in any, for example, in The Incredible Hulk, where it's a snappy flashback in the opening credits of how he became exposed to the gamma radiation, how he became the Hulk, and he went on the run. You know how you know how fast that all went. I mean, they could have done that in this movie, like in one like flashback, or they could at least mention Uncle Ben's, um, you know, Ben Parker's name. I mean, that's, and I know a lot of people are, are believed that we don't get this. You no, know, that we don't have this that we don't get to see him a lot of people are responding well to that but with me i just feel like it's you know, that's a little much that's another nitpick of mine but that's kind of like saying um can we stop having the punisher grieving over his family you know it just doesn't make sense to me personally but that does not diminish the movie i mean the movie is fantastic um, it, it's amazing. I mean, this is the most fun I've had with the, with the Spider-Man movie since 2004. So it's been over 10 years for me since I've waited for another Spider-Man movie to come along where I've had that much fun. And, and you know, and this is the first time we got to really, we got to really fall in, in experience Spider-Man. And he's, you know, He's still a fresh, brand new, he's still a rookie at this superhero thing. And he still has a lot to learn. And he still has a lot of steps to where he can really understand um, the meaning of great power comes great responsibility. And, um, and he's so caught up and determined to become an Avenger that it's getting in the way of his personal life. And... And it's basically a kid being a kid. He's not burdened with these powers, and you know he's fit. You know he's just a fifteen-year-old kid. Like um, he's like um, how did the frost giant mention? Um, it's basically a boy who's trying to prove himself a man, <laughs> and that's basically what this is. It's a coming-of-age story, and it's you know done really well. It's done more well than not more well than I anticipated, and. Without all being said, this gets four chair spans, four and a half solid chair spans out of five. One, two, three, four and a half solid chair spans. So, I do want to get into some spoilers, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. Because, um, yeah, I got some things to say on that. And I'm, I'm having a really tough time biting my tongue here. <laughs> So keep on the lookout for that spoiler video. So if you guys enjoyed my review on this movie, make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe. If you're a newbie to the channel, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all.